All right, guys. So we got a debut of a choke on the channel and one that you guys have seen a lot. We're going to compare them side by side out of my Affinity 3 at 40 yards. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So first up, you guys have seen this a ton. I got a mosquito on me. This is a Pattermaster Code Black Duck. I absolutely love this choke or tube, however you want to call it. Secondly, you guys have asked for this a lot in 12 gauge. Finally was able to buy them. <clears throat> this is the 12 gauge version of the Anaconda Long Range. Now this is a budget choke. This is a $60 choke. So what we're doing today is we're testing two different chokes from Pattermaster. One in the Code Black line, being the Code Black Duck, and one in the Anaconda line in the long range at 40 yards. <clears throat> this one utilizes gas over constriction to give you optimal patterns. This one has the stud ring technology, so it's two different technologies. And I have yet to see this in 12 gauge. In 20 gauge, it's been impressive. So I'm pretty pumped to see how this goes. Now the load we're using. All right, so we're gonna shoot this. Hawk shot this out of the Code Black Duck, and it looked awesome. This is the Remington High Velocity Nitro Steel. It's a three inch, ounce and a quarter payload of number fours, traveling 1450. So it'll be different shooting fours, but we're gonna test them with this first, and then we'll do two shot down the road as well. So let's get right to it. I'll shoot the duck first at the left target. Swap the chokes out, shoot the anaconda at the right, and you guys know the drill. We're going to give you an honest review. Let's get to it. Okay, so first up, nitro steel, once again, number fours, ounce and a quarter payload. Franke Affinity 3, we got the Pattermaster Code Black Duck in first. We'll shoot the left target, then we'll swap out and do it again. So let's get to it. ready to pull the trigger on that one but that punched me right in the face there's some on the target I can see <laughs> I did not have that on my shoulder at all <laughs> it killed it anaconda's in for its debut in 12 gauge it's the anaconda long range once again nitro steel number fours ounce and a quarter payload Franke Affinity 3 let's shoot that target let's get to it All right, so we shot both. Time to go scribble and see how they stack up side by side between the two technologies. I think my money's on the Code Black Duck, but I've been wrong before. Let's go check it out. All right, so we shot both. It's weird shooting fours. It's been a while since I shot fours, but let's look at them. Duck first, then the Anaconda. All right, so this was the Nitro Steel number fours, ounce and a quarter with the Franke Affinity 3 and the Pattern Master Code Black Duck. This is the stud ring technology. This is a $99 choke. As you can see, the shot is high. I'm starting to think my Franke just shoots high, but it's got one right in the melon. But you can see here in your core of the pattern, you do have a lot of hits right here. I don't like that the center of the core has got a void, but with that said, you do have a lot of hits all the way around. You have this weird five piece right there. So you can see you have really good coverage here. And for ducks at 40 yards, this really isn't that bad because I don't, if you're shooting at ducks that far, I mean, we usually don't, but you'd want some leeway because you're going to have to lead them. And this would smoke them at 40. I mean, at, even seeing it up here, you do still have a lot of hits on the duck itself as well. So you can see, realistically, you have a wall right here there is some voids in it, but it would get the job done at 40. But moving into where we shoot ducks, I think this load and this choke would look really good. But it's not bad. I shoot twos for, for ducks and geese, so I don't shoot a lot of fours. So I'll have to do this again with twos. But that doesn't look bad at all. Not the best that I've seen, though. Now let's hop over and look at the Anaconda and see how the budget choke stacks. Yes. 
That actually looks really good. That shot true though. That's kind of weird. Yeah. All right, so this is the $60 choke from Pattern Master using the gas over constriction technology. This is more of the budget choke in the Anaconda line, but it is extremely overlooked. And as you can see here, it looks really good. Now this shot centered, you have a lot of hits on the duck itself, two in the melon, one up the duck. But just outside of the 12 by 18, you have a wall of pellets as well. And really there's not many voids in this at all. Those anaconda tubes are just, they're something else. And for $60, they're hard to beat. It's just constant performance. This looks really good. I actually like this pattern a little bit better. It's hard to say though. Well, you oh, it's more, well, I don't know. They're about the same really. But as you can see here, the Anaconda in the 20 gauge was lights out in testing. And I have high hopes after seeing its debut in 12 gauge that it's gonna be similar to the 20 gauge. This is a really good pattern. And as you work in, all this shot's gonna condense in so it's not gonna be overwhelming tight, especially in our ranges that we shoot ducks, which could be <laughs> five yards to 30. It, it's in there every time. So I really like both of these for that application. So let's look at them side by side, let you guys decide what you like, and make sure to drop a comment below and let us know. All right, so on your left, we have the Pattermaster Code Black Duck in the Franke Affinity 3 with the Nitro Steel number fours. This is your stud ring technology, $99 choke. And as you can see, it is a really good pattern. It's a little tighter maybe, then on the left, you have the Anaconda line, which is $60, using gas over constriction. So two different technologies Pattermaster offers in their tubes. And really, I'm not seeing a huge difference in the pattern. I'll let you guys be the judge of that, but to me, both of these with these loads would be lights out to take a field. Now I shoot twos for ducks and geese, as I said, so we'll do it again with twos and see if it's the same. But guys, don't sleep on that Anaconda line. That, that is a killer tube, and at $60, just like the Mamba, because the Mamba is in the Anaconda line, they're all 60 bucks. It's really hard to find a tube for that price that patterns like them. They're very good chokes. But, as always, it's up to you guys to decide what you think of them side by side. So drop your comments below. I'm really eager to hear what you guys have to say about this one. So once again, that was putting the two technologies Pattermaster offers in the waterfowl line. Head to head, you had a $100 Code Black Duck with a stud ring technology, and you have a $60 Anaconda with the gas over constriction. And as you can see, you can't really go wrong with this load. Now it may change, we'll be testing these a lot head to head with different loads, different shot sizes, etc. So it's hard to say which one is truly better at this point in time. Everyone views the same pattern differently. So it, at the end of the day, it all depends on what you look for in your hunting applications and out of your setup. To me, at 40 yards and under, I don't think you could go wrong with either of these. I really don't. I, I really believe those anacondas are the, one of the most underrated chokes on the market. But guys, as we've been saying, we're pushing for that 10K subscriber. We passed 8K, we're getting closer. <clears throat> we need your help to share these videos on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever you guys roll with for social media. Let's get BCO Nation to 10K. Let's give away that ultimate turkey setup. I can't wait to build that and give it away. I, I really can't wait. So let's get to 10K, let's get her done, and then we'll have to figure out what the next giveaway will be. Nerf gun. With that said, make sure to smash the thumbs up button for your boys, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you do not miss out on our Monday, Wednesday, Friday uploads, as well as our extra content we drop whenever we can. As you guys know, we love dropping extra videos every week. We just love seeing what you guys have to say about these tests. If you want honest testing, this is the channel. We, we don't bullshit here. All we care about is that performance. The performance talks, the rest walks. 
So subscribe, stay a while, check out all our videos. I think we're over 500 and some now. We pump out content, we're a very active channel. But guys, with that said, we're getting mauled by mosquitoes. We got touch base with Hawk. He's been scouting while we're filming for tomorrow morning. Hopefully we can replicate what happened this morning. We slammed him this morning. Finally got on a good goose hunt. But guys, this is Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. And as always, we'll catch you on the next one.